Very warm welcome to the Marina Square Shopping Centre. It is, of course, the unified table tennis tournament that's been put on to make people aware and prepare for the ASEAN Para Games that will be held in Singapore in December. Table tennis very much to the fore and lots and lots of great action that we've had over the past 24 hours or so, the players are taking their positions for what will be a team event that we're bringing you now. And first up, it is going to be Taiwut Wontai from Thailand. He will take on Johnny Sia in the team event. Chaiwut is with William Tan. Agus Sasanto will partner up with Johnny Sia. But Chaiwut, well, he's one of the best athletes here. No doubts about that. He's ranked number 11th in the world for the class four in the wheelchair. So a real quality, quality asset, that is for sure. He actually won bronze in the Asian Para Games in class four back in Incheon. And he won the bronze in 2013 at the Asian Championships. That was in class five. However, he's now classed in class four. Won gold at the Slovakia Open as well. So a real quality quality asset here that has been brought in for preparation as we're underway here Johnny Sia just trailing by two to one no official ranking for the 61 year old who's only played one international tournament at the Tai Chung TT Open back in 2013 but straight away it's Chaiwood that comes out very very quickly Johnny Sia just trying to smash that one home but couldn't Get that one over the net, so it's the tie with the advantage. Again, a little mistake. Oh, the top spin there, straight down the line from Chaiwood. Just a little bit too good for Johnny Sear to deal with. So, on serve, it's 1-6. Johnny Sear. And again, the top spin there from Chai Woods. 26 year old. Has been going for a good few years now. And looks very, very positive here in this one. 8 1, racing to an early lead here. A little bit too much from Sia. That was better from Johnny Sear, but unfortunately couldn't hit the back of the table. So Chaiwood has quite a few game points here. There it is. It's Chaiwood that takes game number one, 11-1. No messing around at all with these guys when they do get to the table. Real, real quality there shown from the 11th ranked player in the world. Just gave me a nice little smile there as well. I think he's heard some of the kind words we've been saying about Chai Wood. So straight on with the next game, because this is the best of three, not the best of five. And now we're back all square. So it will be Chai Wood on serve. Oh, the forehand topspin, far too good. Really whipped through that one. Johnny Sear again trying to go with that smash. So again, it's Chaiwood that starts to edge himself out in front. The spin again. Chaiwood has th this knack. He is the highest ranked player in the world here at this event and tournament. So we would expect him to be very strong. And he's proving that here in the team event. He's raced to a 5-1 lead. Again, the serve just a little bit too good. Oh, Johnny Sear finds the net on that occasion. The 61-year-old just can't get to grips with Chai Wood and his spin that he's putting on the ball at the moment. Oh, that's better but unfortunately couldn't follow it up, and he knows as well. That was a little bit disappointing from Johnny Sear. 
is etched all over his face and this is now match point Chai will force back but that will be the game and that will be the match 11-1, 11-1, the tie showing real class and quality there in the opening rubber of this team event. The spin arms a little bit too much for Johnny Sear to deal with. So it's Chaiwood that wins 11-1, 11-1 to give his team a 1-0 event lead going into rubber number two. Next up then in the team event, it is William Tan from Singapore that will take on Agus Sasanto. It is, of course, Chaiwood and William Tan that lead by 1-0 at the moment. So the two athletes will just come to the table for the toss to see who will, who will serve. Of course, the bats, the same as in the normal format of the game have to be checked by the opponents to make sure that the rubber and the sponge that's being used isn't illegal so the rules do apply uh, completely across the board so it will be William Tan on the right hand side in the all red shirt as opposed to Agus Santo in the red shirt with the blue and white stripes across it They'll have a little knock up before they get themselves going. William Tan, who's 58, is classed 63rd in the world at the moment in class four. Started back in 2010 of the Romanian Open. So has been around Europe and also the world has played in the US Open, the Chinese, the Brazilian and the British Open. Whereas Sasanto, who's 47 years old, started very, very late, but he's ranked 13th in the world in class number five. Started at the 2014 Asian Para Games where he won gold in the singles. And we are starting now. And straight away it is Agos Sasanto that takes the lead. The gold medalist from his class from Incheon. So again, another real quality competitor here in this unified table tennis table tournament. Sasanto races to a, a two love lead. That was better from William Tan. Forcing the error there from Sasanto. And another one. He was forced way back from the table there, Agus Sasanto. Good play from William Tan. And he went for the power, just clipped the top of the net and didn't hit the other side of the table. Aggressive though from William Tan, but that's a poor serve. Just got that one a little bit wrong. So, again, a close one this one as well. Sasanto, very good. Oh, that was a lovely shot right to the back of the table, clipping the line. William Tan, no response whatsoever. And there's that forehand topspin from Sasanto. Just a little bit too much spin on it. That was a good return from Tan. Again, William Tan going for the kill as well. Sasanto just putting it out there. Well, game point. We're right on the cusp again here. And there it is. 11-3. Sasanto takes it. William Tan just couldn't get himself going in that one. He did show 
the occasional shot where he could cause problems. But unfortunately, the gold medalist from the Asian Para Games from Incheon 2014, just a little bit too good. And it looks like he wants to get on with it as well. He's whizzed straight round to the other end of the table. And it is William Tan that's just taking a few seconds to compose himself, which he's allowed to do. There you can see Sasanto very keen to get on with things. William Tan just taking a few seconds for that composure. Toweled himself down and had a quick drink. Now, will that little break have helped him? Sasanto took the first, 11-3. Sasanto on serve. Again, that was a lovely shot from Agus Sasanto, forcing the mistake from Tan. Oh, brilliant. That was very good. William Tan getting that one absolutely spot on. Oh, the pace on the return from Sasanto, just a little bit too much. William Tan finding that one tough to deal with. Just clipping the net and getting away with that. Sasanto just acknowledges the touch of the net. That one just a little bit too long. Sasanto trying to force William Tan back from the table. And that's better from William Tan. That one really deep. And it was Agus Sasanto that couldn't deal with it. So. Han looking good in game two. Oh. Just that final smash a little bit too much with a big forehand. That was better. Sasanto back into the groove. So all square in game number two. Well, you could see Sasanto struggling to return that, but it was just a little bit too long from William Tan. And again, the pace on the ball from Sasanto, very difficult for Tan to deal with. There it is again, that pace. Just injects it when he needs to. I got Sasanto killing that one, showing no mercy to William Tan whatsoever. Oh, the angle was spot on as well there as well from Sasanto. Just crept over the net. That one just wide and well, a little big sigh there from William Tant. He knows that he's gifted six match points to Agus Sasanto. And again, he forced the angle, making Tan rush across to try and return, but couldn't keep it back on the table. So it is Sasanto that leads and wins the second game, 11-4. He wins his rubber by two games to love, 11-3, 11-4. But more importantly, in the team event and the match event, it means that we stand at 1-1 and we will next up have the doubles match. So the doubles is next in this Team Rubber event and the Team Match event, as it were. William Tan and Chai Wood Wan Chai will take on Agus Sasanto and Johnny Sear.
So it makes it nice and interesting as both sides have won one of the singles events. So currently, as we sit, it's 1-1 in the overall team. It's a race to three. That is the best of five sets. The bats, again, just being checked. They just want to check the moulding, the rubber. Again, it's very, very technical, as in the fact that you can use a certain glue, you can use certain amounts of rubber, which can add variations to the spin, which is why the athletes are asked to inspect and check each other's bats to make sure that everything is fair. So all in red is Johnny Sia and Agus Sasanto. Sasanto with the blue and white stripes going across the chest. They have themselves a little knock-up. Johnny Sia there you saw just missing that shot. And at the other side in the green shirt will be a Chai Wood Wan Chai and William Tan. The slight difference with this is that either athlete can return the ball it is not alternate shots like it is in the professional game so the players just finishing their little knock up it's good to see as well so many people coming down to the marina square shopping center really nice to see that the fans have come out to support this event it is to raise awareness of the 8th ASEAN Para Games that will be held in Singapore in December as we're almost all set to go here and it is going to be Chai Wood that gets us going. Who hits that shot just a little bit long. There's that pace again that was injected just a little bit too long though from Johnny Sierra. See on serve. Again, Sasanto has that ability with that whipping forehand. Just a little bit too long. Johnny Sear unable to deal with that one. So it will be William Tan that will get to have a serve. Sasanto trying to push that one back. This one a lot more nip and tuck. That was a great return though. Sasanto really does have the ability to pull one out of the top drawer and he just injects. <laughs> Laughs and smiles all around there. Sasanto just having a little chat with Johnny Sear there. There it is again. Lovely shot. This time on the backhand from Sasanto, the 47 year old. Really playing that one spot on. So, four all in game number one. Five, this time four. it's Chai Wood's turn to just inject that little bit of pace. That call. Well, if you tee it up for this man, he's going to take it. Agus Sasanto once more with a powerful smash on the forehand. Far too much for the other pair to deal with. Time a little bit long from Sasanto. There it is. Sasanto once more just going right around that ball. Just smashing it to finish. Far too good. Two little hand signals under the table there from William Tan. Able to keep that one on the table. Thank <laughs> you. 
A little chuckle between Johnny Sear and Agus Santo both going for the same ball there. Both getting in each other's ways. Again, a little bit of miscommunication from the pairing of Sasanto and Sia. Oh, straight down the middle this time. So that gives us four game points for Jane Woods and William Tan. this time so 10-7 is the score still game point and there is a game number one he goes in the favor of Chai Woods and Tan 11-7 But I'll need to be careful because Sasanto has shown on occasion there that if you give him the opportunity to use that booming forehand that he has, he can take it and he really can punish you. So players whisk themselves back to the other end of the table. The ball, okay, number two. And I managed to catch the ball and just throw it back on to the table. Commentary position here is totally next to the court, which is amazing to see these athletes performing the way that they are. It is absolutely unbelievable. The skill and ability that these athletes do possess is something else brilliant again from Sasanto ah, he tried to be a little bit too clever with that one tried to really pick his spot that's the first point that he's conceded so far in game number two the spin just catching out Johnny Sear and the little hand single down below as well and there's the smash. If it's teed up nicely, Sasanto will take it. There you can see both sets of athletes now using the little signals. A good spin there on the serve as well from William Tan. Just cutting it across and making it difficult for Johnny Sear to deal with. That time it's a little bit too long. Here we'll have the opportunity to serve now. Fortunately, couldn't keep that one in play. Try to attempt it. Stand the gap slightly again. As the fans are coming in all day, as they have been at Marina Square Shopping Centre, to support this wonderful event. Great to see so many people here. Too long, William Tan. That was a good angle initially from Johnny Sear, but just couldn't back it up with a second shot. Got the angle spot on to start with, but then just couldn't keep it on the table. So it's a Santo on serve. Serve just a little bit too good for William Tan to deal with. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Lovely return there from William Tan. Just going over the net. Santo was scrambling to get there, but just a little bit too far ahead of him. Slight mistake on that occasion from the 58-year-old William Tan. Was better. William Tan looking to use the angles and force the mistake from Johnny Sear, which is exactly what happened. Oh, the big apology on that occasion from Chaiwood. Just pitches them in front. That's a little bit too long. So it is going to be two match points for Chaiwood and Tan.
Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. One of the best shots we've seen today so far from Agusta Santo. Still match point. Oh, well played from Johnny Sia. We're back to 10 all now. So a great fighting spirit shown from Sasanto and Sia. As is the norm. We must have a two point difference. And straight away, Sasanto it is. Who, with that serve, forces the error from William Tan. 11 10, it's now a game point for Sia and Sasanto. Back all square at 11 all. So, you see it with the serve. That called. There was another ball from the other court just making its way onto ours. trying to use the angle and put the spin on that one it wasn't the hardest shot that he hit but just the angle made it difficult for Sia to be able to deal with so now it's match point again and there it is 13 11 it's finished here in game number two so Chaiwood and Tan take the match 11 7 13 11 so Santo and Sia had a really good fight in that second game. It now means in the team standings that it's 2-1 to William Tan and Chai Wut Wan Chai. And we're going into a game at number four, which should be intriguing because it is number 11 in the world at the class four level. Chai Wut Wan Chai, who will take on Agus Santo who's ranked 13th in the world at class five. And these two have shown that they've both got a little bit. Chai, what they're just saying about the sun when he's throwing the ball up into the air, just talking to the officials, saying he was called for one or two times, throwing the ball too high. Just explaining the situation of why he was doing that. A little toss of the coin as the two athletes have stayed on the court. It will be Agus Sasanto taking on Chai Woods and it's Santo that wins the serve. Chai Wood knows that victory here would see him take the game and take the match for the team. They lead by 2-1. It was initially Chai Woods and Johnny Sear that went head-to-head. -head. Chai Wood winning 11-1, 11-1. Sasanto beat William Tan 11-3, 11-4. And in the doubles, we've just witnessed Chai Wood and Tan win 11-7, 13-11. These two, as you can tell from the way they're knocking up, are two of the real serious medal contenders when it comes round to the ASEAN Games. One of them's an Indonesian, one of them's a Thai, so they will be back in Singapore for the eighth Asian Para Games in December. Just finishing the little knock up. We're almost all set to go. Yeah. Okay. So we are all set to go now, and it will be Chai Wood that will serve. And straight away, aggressive from both players. Chai Wood catching the net, but not the table. See there, just a little bit too far out of reach. Chai Wood just snatching at it. That call. Cool. Oh, that was far too easy. Chai Wood knows it as well. Big laughs and smiles all around from both athletes. If you give Agus Santo an inch, you'll take a mile. He's absolutely slammed that one. Never mind out of the arena. That's almost out of the building. Just a little bit too long. That was brilliant. The recovery from Sasanto keeping it in play after Chai Woods had drilled one down. And again, 
Chai Wook trying to be aggressive, but just catching the net on that occasion. That's a great return again. Two shots in a row from Sasanto. Real quality there. Just a little bit too long. Chai Wook's got to dig in a little bit here. Just have been a little bit too high, and even Sasanto's just turned around and said, Don't even worry about it. It's a great angle, that's the best point we've seen. That was brilliant play from both players. Sasanto coming out on top. Sasanto. Well, he's fighting his way back here, Chai Woods. Tried to be too aggressive and loses out on that occasion, so it's finished 11 6 in favour of Sasanto in what's been a real quality game. One of the best games we've seen here so far today. Two are not messing around, they just change ends very, very quickly and want to get on with things quickly. Crowd building again here down at the Marina Square shopping centre, and they're witnessing some real quality table tennis here. Great play from Chai Woods. Just clipped the edge of the table. And tries to force it a little bit too much. Sasanto fighting back. Push just wide, some mistakes to the four for Chai Woods at the moment. Now it's Sasanto's turn to make the errors. a great shot from Chai Woods, that's better. Oh, Sasanto just pulls them out when he needs them, doesn't he? Real quality there from Agus Sasanto. Oh. Sasanto just couldn't get that one right. He did a big smile on his face and a shake of the head. There it is, that's better from Chai Woods. He's getting the rub of the green, as it were, at the moment. Mistake there. He knows it as well. Just trying to force Chai Wood back away from the table with that deep, deep topspin shot. Oh, shot of the day. The crowd really appreciating that one. Some real quality there from Chai Wood one time. Absolutely stunning smash to kill the point. was injected when it needed from Chai Woods, who's regrouped himself extremely well here. There you go, he's given himself five game points. That little break really has helped him. Oh, where's he pulled that one from? What a brilliant shot to finish the game. 
he takes game number two 11 5. Sasanto with a huge smile on his face as well it's absolutely amazing and Sasanto now feels he needs to go and regroup so he's going to take a few seconds and as well he might because that last shot there from Chai Wat Wan Chai was absolutely stunning so one game all we go into the deciding game it was it Sasanto that won the first 11-6 Chai Wat won the second 11-5 all to play for Straight away, Chai Woods feeling positive now. He's got two already, and you can actually see the way that he's sitting in his chair. He's bouncing around a little bit more. The confidence is definitely there. And there you go. It's epitomized with that shot. Chai Wood with the push, as it was right at his body. To Santo now with it all to do. Well, that just hit the body, so it was to Santo that took the point. But again, forces the point on that occasion. That little push again coming to the four for Ty Woods. One, they have to change ends. It's after a disappointing first game from Chaiwa Wanchai. He's come back all guns blazing, but Sasanto is having none of it. He's just whipped one straight down just to push Chaiwa further back. That's better. Sasanto forcing Chai Woods around the base of the table. Creating the opening for himself. And there again, that little push topspin from Chai Woods. Real quality. And again. Well, he's putting himself in the winning position here. Is Chai Wood, even with that little mistake. It is Sasanto on serve, 4 7. One game all. It opened up for him, but he just couldn't find it. Oh, that's brilliant from Sasanto. That big whip forehand pushing away. Chaiwood just couldn't get the return. Now Sasanto trying to work Chaiwood all the way round at the back of the table. And he's fought his way back into this because it's seven all in game number three. One game each. That was brilliant. Sasanto leaning right out of his chair to be able to get to that one. Absolutely amazing. And for the first time in this match, in game number three, he takes the lead. But then gives it away because we're all square again at eight all. That little flick from Chai Woods. There's no disguise on that at all. It just comes straight out, and you know it's coming, and you can't deal with it. And now we've got two match points. This will take the whole match as well. But that's brilliant from Sasanto, who fights to stay in this one. Still, game and match points. And there it is. That is the match as well for the team events, but that is the best singles game that we've witnessed here over this weekend so far. Two players totally committed into Santo and Chai Woods. Some real quality play from both players, but that victory by Chai Woods, who lost the opening game 11-6, but came back 11-5, 11-9 means that not only does he take that rubber, his side with William Tan takes the match in the team event. So it's Tan and Chai Woods that win overall 3-1. They take victory in the men's team event.
这个打的啊，你好，还没好。
Thank you. 
Ah, gini dengan ini. Ah, sekarang aku tekan lagi to be ni. Lagi to be ni. Eh, ini mana ni mai? Ini mai mai dua. Ah, okey, itu dah 35. Ah, dengar. Ah, okey, alright. Stand it by one two one two one two one two one two one two.
Thanks for that as well.
very good afternoon to all our uh, shoppers coming into Marina Square now, right at the Asian area. We are having uh, our unified table tennis tournament uh, happening uh, for today. Today is day two, and of course, later on at about 6 p.m., we'll be doing the more presentation. So the games are almost coming to a close, but of course, we still got some more uh, very, very exciting games going on. Of course, we're waiting for the players to come back, and then of course, we will start up the game for you. So stay tuned for that. There's one exciting set coming up for you and of course other than that if you guys just manage to join us uh, right here okay, please do come down to the Asia area where we have quite a lot of activities uh, planned out for you and of course uh, one of them is the photo booth area where you guys can go and take uh, some photo uh, with props and all and can take back uh, the mementos back but of course uh, with every photo that you take okay, all you have to do is to do a particular pose okay you put your right hand over your left shoulder a hashtag uh, and upload it onto your Facebook or your Instagram and of course the hashtag is uh, BackupABG15. So every post that you uh, post up online, uh, Deloitte Singapore will be donating uh, $10 to uh, Singapore Disability Sports Council and of course uh, our target is to reach $50,000. So come on down and please uh, help us do your part, take some photos and of course upload them online to either Instagram or Facebook. Now, part of them, of course, uh, we also have the band of doers. Okay, the band of doers, they are over here, right at the postcard meeting area, uh, where they will help you guys design and customize some postcards for you. And of course, uh, with these postcards, as, as the closer you get to uh, our power games uh, on the eighth or the ninth, the third to the ninth of December, okay, we will be mailing these postcards back to you uh, as a reminder for you to come and take part and come and enjoy the games that we have. So, See you with course, I'll be coming back to you guys with uh, some of the topic schedule because we have to reshuffle some of the uh, game schedules. So do stay tuned for that. I'll be coming to tell you guys exactly who will be playing and who will be next at which point. So stay tuned for that. Ladies and gentlemen, call for the players at uh, table three uh, to clear out because right now we will have our next match going on. It will be uh, Ibrahim Hamatou from Egypt facing off against uh, Ajahn Abidin from Indonesia. It's going to be happening at table three. So uh, the umpires are ready. I believe the players are ready as well. So ladies and gentlemen, please uh, proceed over to table three. Cross three is one all the way at the far end of uh, the front away from the stage. So go ahead and enjoy that very, very electrifying match uh, going to happen up right now. And also calling for table number four for the players to please uh, clear the table because uh, the next uh, set coming up will be from uh, the Singapore athlete uh, Jason Chi as well as the Singapore athlete uh, Eric. Okay, so Eric and Jason will be playing at court number four, table number four. So please stay tuned for that. So just calling out for them. Uh, please go over there. Of course, the umpires as well. Please stand by to go over to uh, table number four. Okay, court four, table number four. And uh, court three is about to start the match. So stay tuned for that as well. So calling for all the other players from uh, practicing at court four. Please clear up the court right now.
very warm welcome back to Marina Square Shopping Centre for the Unified Table Tennis Tournament. A prelude, of course, to the 8th Asian, or ASEAN, I should say, sorry, Para Games, which is being held in December 2015. And what an encounter we've got lined up for you now. Ajang Zainal Abidin will be taking on Ibrahim Hamadou in what promises to be an absolute fantastic game of table tennis. The crowds have been enthralled by Hamadou. He has wooed everybody and has been a revelation at this event. But Abedin as well, he had a hard fought game a little bit earlier on against Pudya from Thailand, and he was absolutely stunning. And that went to 21 19 in the very first game before he went on to lose that one. He did win yesterday, though. He beat Mu Yung Wang in four sets. 10-12, 11-6, 13-11, 11-7, and looked very promising in doing so. And he has this knack of this booming top spin forehand, which really can catch you out. As for Ibrahim Hamadou, well, it was a tragic story that led to his disability, which was a train accident many, many years ago when he was aged 10 years old. And he said all he could do in his village was play football or table tennis. And remarkably, one of the most amazing sights you'll ever see in the world is this man playing table tennis. An absolute stunning performer. And he won the silver medal in the African Championships in 2011 in the classes 6 to 8. And in 2013 won the silver medal again. And it's led to stars all over the world really really heaping praise on him it was malong the number one table tennis player in the world from china who turned around and said he played very good i could not believe when he had a knock-up with the world team table tennis championships players the japanese number one john mitsutani turned around and said he played really really good i couldn't believe he played with his mouth i've never seen anything like this before but Ibrahim Hamatu is the man that turned around and said the disability is not in the arms or the legs. The disability is to not persevere in whatever you would like to do. That shows the character of this man. So we're off and underway. And as you can see, a healthy crowd here as Hamatu takes the very, very first point. Totally unorthodox but totally remarkable how he approaches the game. Same as Aberdeen. You can see there, that's a brilliant play again from Hamatu. But just watch this serve. Well, it was the spin yesterday that Victor Cole couldn't cope with. It looks as though Aberdeen can cope a little bit better here. There's that big booming forehand with top spin from Aberdeen that draws us all square again Mantu just misjudging that one so it's Aberdeen that takes the lead in the opening game there again I saw the pace that was injected there from Mantu just Whipping that head forwards just to create the top spin on the ball. There's that spinning serve. We saw it yesterday and we're seeing it again today. That was just far too quick though. Aberdeen injecting the pace in that top spin. A man that always plays with a smile on his face. there from Hamatu, he knew it straight away as well. Oh, a delicate little touch and angle being found. Then the top spin. Oh, you can see, he just tried to nick that one back over. Aberdeen having to fight his way. And you see a real healthy crowd turning up here to witness this remarkable action. That's the first serve I've seen him all weekend miss Q. It's an 
amazing technique. Uses the foot to toss the ball in the air. And then attacks it. And there, puts that spin on it as well. And that is what's so difficult for the opponents to deal with. Oh, gets fortuitous there. Just acknowledges that as well. Oh, and now he clips the edge of the table. Two lucky points to draw things all square in the first game here. Both players as well, both thoroughly enjoying this. That's unbelievable from both players. The Matsu forcing the pass initially. But Aberdeen then, with that brilliant forehand, once more straight down the table. And that's to no chance. On the 3rd of December to the 9th of December. So stay tuned for that. And of course, uh, this tournament right here is just the start of the game. It's actually the uh, really to many, many more games uh, such as this. Pushed the whole Aberdeen to within two points of this first to, game. Uh, December. So stay tuned for that. Of course, go and fix your eyes on the exciting game that's progressing right now. Gets the little nick off the net again. Somewhat fortuitous. Serve goes in, it's two game points. But then just acknowledges that. Well, he's missed the backhand on that occasion, Aberdeen. So oh, just the final game point here for Aberdeen. And the softer serve there, almost catching out Aberdeen from Hamatu, but Aberdeen read that one extremely well. And he takes the first set, 11-9. A real quality show from both athletes there as well, not more so than Hamatu. Strength 55th in the world at the Class 6 events. You can see the crowd, never mind just in and around the courts. Just when we look up, there is a tier, and there must be 100, 150 people all enthralled and engrossed with what we've got going on here. He really has been the showcase star of this event, says Amantu. But make no mistakes about it, Aberdeen as well has totally enthralled the crowds. His action where he is so active and dives around at the back edge of the table. These two really have given us a thoroughly entertaining tournament so far. So, Amantu on serve, one game down. Top spin was wrong on that occasion from Aberdeen. There's that smash. That's unbelievable. Brilliant skill then shown from Hamatsu to take that point. Push there from Matsu. Good serve from Aberdeen. Oh, beautiful shot there from Aberdeen. Booming backhand. No response at all from Hamatsu. So all square, game two. You can see Hamatu was just trying to work Aberdeen around the back of the table. Cut that serve in and then went cross court but just missed the table. A little bit too long on that occasion from Aberdeen. Here in 
seeing the amount of spin that was put on that ball from Aberdeen, it really kicked off the table. That is why Hermantu had no response. Pretty well played from Hermantu. He stepped in there, he pushed Aberdeen all the way back away from the table and stepped in to kill. Old square. Far too much power goes straight down the table from Aberdeen. A real quality shot from him. Oh, this serve on that occasion from Hamantu. Just trying to go straight down the table. Great return though. Aberdeen as well, the big smile on his face knows that he made a mistake then. And again, very little that Hamadou could do about the quality there of the man ranked 35th in the class seven event. And that spinning serve again. The first nip and tuck here. Seven, that's leading seven six. Oh, yeah. That opened up and it was a big mistake, and he knows it. Hamantu. Oh. Oh. in wide with the serve. Just couldn't go in for the kill. Aberdeen keeping the ball in play as much as possible and forcing Hamantu to make the mistakes, and that's what's happening at the moment. Absolutely remarkable. Hamadou trying to draw Aberdeen right into the table, so he was reaching. But just couldn't finish it off. That shot from Aberdeen was real quality. Well, that game's come and gone as well. It goes in favour of Aberdeen. 11 6. And again, Aberdeen showing that he's got real class and ability, and he tried to get the measure there on Hamadou. You can see him really looping it up with the massive amount of topspin on it, so that when it hit the table, it kicked up and kicked forwards. That was where Hamadou had to adjust and realign himself to try and just cut it back across. That is what was creating the opportunities and openings for Aberdeen, which means he has a two games to love lead in this the best of five. So it will be Aberdeen to serve at the start of game number three. Exactly what Hamantu was trying to do, force it right in the corner. That's the table goal. Not on that occasion. to try and kill the point, finds the net. There's that angled serve. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, Hamadou was pushed all the way back by Aberdeen, and then he stepped in, just digged it over the net, and there was very little that Aberdeen could do about that. One of the best points from a value perspective we've seen. So, 2-3. Just missing that one. And another miss. That's the 
third mistake of this game for him. That's unusual. I can't quite believe that as they're watching on. There's that softer serve with the angle as well. Matu getting a little bit fortuitous with the flick of the net. Back to all square though. Game number three. Such a shame. I have never seen a point like that in my life. Both athletes, unbelievable techniques. They've got the game plan. But what a point. working the angles Amantu has got a game plan here Aberdeen is having to scramble around at the back of the table and really use that reach to try and get the angles that Amantu is creating just snatched at that slightly Amatu trying to force it with the power to push Aberdeen back and then just drop it over the net. Tactics are there. A mistake from Amatu. Just needs to stop the little mistakes. Needs a little bit of the ball at his foot until he's comfortable and ready. Strong with that top spin into the net, though. It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Wonderful from Hamadou. How he returns some of those from Aberdeen is unbelievable. Oh. A little bit loose. So number two creeping ahead. Game number three. Two game points. Oh. Great recovery from Aberdeen, who just can't do anything about it. So that one's finished 11 8 in favour of Amatu. But I have to be honest, I don't want this game to end because it's fantastic skill that you're witnessing here.
at the Unified Table Tennis Tournament. It is in preparation for the ASEAN Para Games, and I can tell you that the crowd is getting bigger. It's thronging down here at the Marina Square Shopping Centre. There are people everywhere, all wanting to see this game. That is how big and how good it is. Absolutely remarkable. It really is. So Aberdeen, who started only in 2014 with the Asian Para Games, he won the bronze medal in the singles in the Class 7. Has won three, lost two in his career in real competitive games. He leads by two to one here. Has it all to do. There's that booming forehand again. The question is, is as a man who figured out and worked out how to play Aberdeen, you can see by the way that he's playing, just dropping it over the net, using the angles and forcing Aberdeen around that table. Oh, but that's just too good. Real quality there from Aberdeen off the backhand. Far too much pace on the ball and spin. Shot. Absolutely unbelievable. Just a little bit too long. You can see there from the motion of the head from Matu. She's got that one slightly wrong. Just catching out Aberdeen there. That's who wants this. Some athletes, while they're playing smiles on their faces, definitely want this. Just a little bit too long. He knows as well, because that was an unbelievable save just a few moments ago. that one back to win that point. Now it's Aberdeen that can't finish it off. He's letting Hamatu back into this game. Work Aberdeen all the way round the back of the table. Real quality. That's where he's going to find it difficult, and he knows he can't get into a, a slinging match at topspin. Aberdeen takes that point. They're just closer to victory. Table again. 
9-6 on serve. And again, just a little bit too much. So four match points. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant finish from Aberdeen. He pulled and drew and had to right in. <laughs> and that is the shot of the tournament. Never mind what you've seen on the table. Aberdeen and Hamantou embrace each other at the end of that game. That was simply stunning. The last game finished 11-6, just for the record. But real, real class and quality shown from both athletes. But it is Aberdeen that takes another victory in the Unified Table Tennis Tournament at Marina Square Shopping Centre. But there's no question it is Hamantu that has been the draw and the pull that the fans have relished coming to see and witness in what is an unbelievable, remarkable test of endurance and endeavour. That one's finished then. It's gone the way of the Indonesian. Aberdeen takes that one. 11-9, 11-6, 8-11, to take victory. And of course, once again, uh, court number two, table number two, the games are going to happen uh, to start off all the way here at court number two, right in front. Uh, Ashura is ready here, Marcus. Uh, take ball uh, as well as Paris. Please come and join us uh, right here at uh, table number two, please. Okay, now, calling uh, to everybody once again, please come down to uh, join us right here at the atrium, where we will be having a lot of activities for you. Of course, one of them is our uh, photo booth here. Deloitte Singapore will be donating $10 for every photo posted. Okay, now uh, all the money will be used to develop uh, disability sports in Singapore, so please do so. And our target is $50,000. So please help us out, go and take some photos. That's all you have to do. Later on at 4 p.m., we'll be having a sparring matches uh, with some of our para athletes. And you guys can go and challenge them out right at the Mini Pong Challenge again. Okay? Those are all the activities that we have uh, planned for you. And of course, uh, for the kids, if you guys want to do some coloring, we have our postcard coloring area and our band of doodlers. They are here with us right now. And of course, they are uh, helping you doodle out for you, customizing to you guys some very, very creative and some very beautiful postcards as well. So stay tuned for that. Now, the next match, as I mentioned, is going to happen uh, right at Form 2. It's a doubles match. So if you guys uh, have not seen a doubles match before, and check the doubles uh, match. The format and sequence is a little bit different, but it's as exciting as the match that you guys have seen earlier over there on court number three. So stay tuned, I'll be coming back to you guys with more information very, very shortly.